How's everybody doing today? We got an update here on the CL. We recently got the roll cage built. I took it to a, uh, a place called Roll Cage Components out of Amelia, Virginia. And the gentleman there, he did a fabulous job measuring everything, getting the uh, cage as tight as possible. So I have the cage, there's part of it, sitting over here in the floor. Got your main boot and your main hoop and your roof bar and your door bars and everything that's needed for it. And then they give you about five foot of plate steel to build these. They had a uh, Volkswagen they were doing at their shop when I was there and I saw kind of how they did it. So I'm trying to mimic it as best I can. But they basically built a uh, built a box and attached it to the car. And when we built our first car, we just took the steel and made a L bracket straight out, straight down, and just welded it in them two points. But this is by far a whole lot better job. I don't know. If you come to the back, that's kind of what I've got going on for the back. Um, I know it ain't the most professional job in the world, but it's a whole lot better than what we had in our other car. I just finished welding this one up. This one's probably still a little warm, but <clears throat> I put this little side gusset off of that because below this channel right here is your main fuel line, and I didn't want to uh, to weld to the to the unibody right there and risk any stupid shit from happening. But let's see if we can get see if I've got any ability back here uh, you, you can kind of see that but not not great but yeah that's where we are now so once uh go eat me some supper and hopefully i can start putting this thing in now i will say one thing i bought these right here from harbor freight they were three dollars and they are worth every penny of it. And I also bought this little device here for $3. It blows my mind. So basically what I use this for, it's got a magnet on the bottom, a magnet on the side, just like these. So when you build your box, you can make sure that your box is straight up and down and it'll help hold it no matter where you put it. And then as far as the roll cage goes, you just use the big red magnets, which I bought four of them. And when you need, basically need it supported or to hold itself in place so you can mock up the other one, you just stick this right onto the, right onto the bar and then put your other one against it however direction you want it. And uh, it kind of holds it. I've yet to try it, but I do know that when I was building the boxes with it, it was strong. I mean, it was it was tough to uh, to move around, but um, so that's where we are as for now with the cage. We've got the whole dash bar taken out. The steering wheel is just kind of laying there. Um, my teammate, he was here. He uh, he was disassembling some of the stuff under the hood. So we've got the radiator taken out, all the fans, the battery box, the air filter. Um, just all sorts of little knickknacks, pieces and parts. So the car came from up north, so everything on it is rusted like hell. So I've got every bolt that I could find that I knew needed to come off so we could drop the subframe out. I've got it soaking in WD-40 and liquid wrench. And uh, the, one of the funny things was when we took it apart, we realized that the radiator there, it's not even out of an accuracy. Yeah, I believe that belongs in a Civic. They had the uh, the hose reaching from one side all the way across to the other side of the engine. You can see this this long gigantic hose here coming all the way across. Well, this was set up just like that, up against the manifold. Kind of blew my mind. So whoever ordered it, they ordered the wrong one because I have the other the other uh, radiator back there in the bit in the uh, in the back room. And it's it's not the same so but yeah this is where we are we're gonna hopefully drop the uh drop the whole subframe on it this coming up week and i'll try to get the cage tacked in 
and hopefully we'll we'll put some heat to her and see if she fires. See y'all next time.